Hey everybody and welcome to your daily message. Here with me Adrian Nelson and today we're going to use tarot cards because you will see in some of the other videos I really used a lot of oracle cards but you know at the end of the day I am a tarot boy. I love tarot. I've always been fascinated by tarot. It's very clear. It's very precise. It's, it's really in-depth which is really incredible and um, I, I wanted to give you today's message. I wanted to use the the tarot deck. So using the tarot of the Moon Garden by Karen Marie Swekart. And I may have been saying that last name incorrectly, but it's by US Game Systems. And this is such a beautiful deck of cards. Um, about two weeks ago, two or three weeks ago, actually, time does fly, a very good friend of mine actually gave me this deck as a gift. And it's so, so beautiful. If you may be just starting out new in tarot, this is a very deck, good deck to have. Um, and what I love so much about it is that when you look at it in a very general sense, um, the cards you'll see as I show you now, th they look very simple, you know. Um, but if you sort of, you know, you really sort of understand symbolism, for example, which is a great passion of mine, along with astrology and numerology and, you know, how colors and frequency and those things influence us. And I include all of those aspects in my personal readings. But, um, you know, then obviously how it pertains specifically to you, because once we understand what works for us, we can, you know, very beneficially use that. Um, but then you, you'll see if, if you are into symbolism and you understand it, you'll actually see how powerful this deck is. I think, I can't remember exactly, I think this deck came out in 1993, which was quite a while ago. And, you know, the world wasn't, I think, as ready as they are you know right now and but let's see what we have so let's first just connect in our heart space with my beautiful crystal ball adonis over here which is gift from me for my reiki teacher back in 2014 so let's just take a nice deep breath in together savor that breath release that breath letting go of resistance letting go of what's holding you back that which you know and that which you don't know of willingness to release so that beauty can come into your life so that blessings can flow into your life so that abundance and joy and love can flow into your life and so it is okay and then as always i've got my beautiful gerosol pyramid over there which i love to place on the chest of my um spiritual regression hypnosis clients when they come to see me in person if i do an online session i would always have this crystal with me in any way while i'm doing your session because it's beautiful it's we connect energetically and it helps to open your energy all right and then this baby oh this bad boy which is a beautiful rose quartz when i held this rose quartz I think this was also back in 2014, late in 2014, maybe early 2015. It was the first time, I've always been very intuitive and connected and psychic and stuff, but I really connected to the universe in such a powerful way. Time ceased to exist. It was just beautiful. Okay, So let's infuse our energy into the deck. Let's connect with the energy of tarot by shuffling the cards. If you are interested in learning how to read the tarot, which is such an amazing thing. Oh, okay, okay, they are speaking. I have got, let's just get one more. I've got a detailed online tarot course, and there's a link down below in the description. You actually get to watch five preview videos for free, and you get lifetime access. So you get to decide if that's really the course for you. Oh, where's the card? I think, where did I see it? This is a hidden blessing for some of you. Oh, beautiful. Okay, let's see, let's see, let's see. And you really begin to learn how the cards are speaking to you. So the first card you've got is the Six of Swords in the reverse position for you over there. Or um, in the defense position, as some people sometimes call it. So you've got the Six of Swords over there, which is like that in the upright position. You've got the Seven of Stars, which is the Seven of Wands. And you've got the Death card. Okay. Very, very interesting reading, yeah? So, with the Six of Swords in the upright position, this is a card that, um, you know, that speaks of, um, I don't have a, I don't have a tradi give me one second, I just want to show you the traditional card, just to show you quickly. All right, and I'm just going to very quickly 
get that card for you. I just want to show to you what it is that I, that I mean with the Six of Swords. So if you look at it like this, this is a traditional Rider Waite Six of Swords. This is a space, as you can see, there's like a dragon coming about there, which is about your inner power, your inner energy. Um, there's a new moon, which is about new beginnings. And I love to teach, I think if ever, almost everybody who ever had a personal reading with me, I love to share with them how to utilize moon energy because when you understand moon energy and how you can manifest with that, it really is amazing. You can manifest beautiful things in your life really quickly. And, um, you know, it's the same thing as, for example, with my online tarot course that when you learn to read tarot, you actually learn about the law of attraction. You, you learn how to manifest. You, you have a better, or not a better, an increased um, relationship with life, which in a sense is better because you get to understand things you haven't understood before. And obviously knowledge is power. The more you understand, the more you're able to utilize the opportunities that are available for you. But if you don't understand the opportunity, you won't even be aware of the fact that it's there. Okay. So let's just move that one out there. Oh, and I, I'm going to show what's at the bottom of the deck. I'm going to put it over there so I don't forget. I'm going to show you that last. But um, with the Six of Swords, so this is a space where you are, you know, encouraged to um, embrace teamwork, to um, to sort of really take to mind everything that comes to you that people are saying that they are bringing to the table. With it being in reverse, I feel that you are already really incredible at, um, at, at, at sort of like... Um, you know, being open to other people's ideas. And if you are not, then I want to encourage you to actually do that today. Because, you know, sometimes we believe that we have got everything exactly the way that it should be. We believe we've got all the answers. We've got all the clarity. And maybe you do. But, you know, sometimes when we just listen to what somebody else has to say and we give it that honest chance, you may be really surprised at what they may actually bring to the table. Maybe it can improve upon your plans. So be open today to the idea that um, that there might be a, a bigger plan available to you than what you may have actually, you know, initially thought or, or saw. And then you've got the seven of stars, which is the seven of ones. Um, this space is just, it's, it's almost like if you can see the trees are lining up here on the side and then there's sort of like the bigger tree in the middle. This is almost like life. It's, it's, it's almost in a sense, almost like the four of ones, but in an amplified way. Um, it's, it's this portal that's open for you for greater things, for beautiful things, for amazing things. Today, if you can just be open to other people's ideas and to other people's insights um, and opinions even, this might be a very, very good, a very, very prosperous and a very profitable day for you. All right. And lastly, we've got the death card over here, which is all about transformation. I think the death card and probably the tower, you know, in traditional tarot were the two cards that really sort of, you know, always fascinated me. I want to know what do they mean? Because, you know, people will sort of draw and they've got this gypsy that usually looks quite sort of um, interesting looking and they go like death, you know. Um, but I've always instinctively understood that there's more to this card. And the death card is about transformation. You can see here's the dragon again. There's your rewards over here. So starting off with the dragon in the beginning, your message for today is, it's, you know, today could be a day that changes the rest of your life. Today has got the potential, it carries the energy to change the rest of your life in a very beautiful, in a very positive, in a very abundant way. But the question in life is obviously always, are you open to this? Okay, because um, there's beautiful transformation available for you in this day. This day offers you a window period of opportunity where your life can really change. But it does take being open to, you know, to maybe, and it doesn't mean that your plan is bad. Maybe your plan is brilliant, but it means being open to the idea that maybe there's a, you know, there's room for improvement. Um, there's, I feel that you're getting the opportunity today to really express yourself, who you are, without needing to sort of like have any filters over there. And this is a space where uh, you can actually let go of a lot of things that, um, you know, that were holding you back. This, this in, in, in essence, is a very positive day for you. And um, 
I wanted to show you the card that's at the bottom of the deck because I think this is even more amazing. I think it's so incredible that this is your card that is at the bottom of the deck. Okay, like maybe that's not the best way to hold it. But if you look at this, this is the magician. Um, this is the energy for you that feeds everything. You have brought yourself to a wonderful space today because the magician speaks of your inner strength. All right. There, for example, with the pentagram. Pentagrams, just to let you know, if you look at the four corners of it, it's all about balance. North, west, south, east, um, you know, left, right, up, down, all the sort of balance in this world. And once you are balanced, that is really when spirit, when source can flow into everything. So always remember that you are the channel that keeps the flow of abundance in life open for you. Life takes its cue from you. Always remember that you are the one that um, determines your experience of life. And if you don't like where you are right now, if you don't like what's happening in your life right now, this is, it's a wonderful thing and I'm going to tell you why I'm saying that. It's because the same energy that you create, that you use to create what you don't like in your life, it's the same energy that you use to also create what you do like in your life. It is the same thing, literally. It's, it's, it's beautiful. It's amazing. Okay. And um, so I really hope that, that and look at it, even if you look at those two new moons over there, it can go either way. And it's that flow of infinity, new beginnings, you know. This is not you being at a space where you are sort of like a larvae, where you're sort of like a butterfly that just came out of the, the cocoon. This is you being a full-blown, um, acclimatized butterfly. This card in today's energy is calling you to really step into your power, to really open yourself to the idea that you are an incredible being, that just because you experience things in your life sort of lack and limitation, just because that's what you experience doesn't mean in any way whatsoever that um, that your life is limited in any way. In fact, this is a space of improvement. Life is calling you today to actually expand your view, to be more of who you are, to open yourself to the idea that your life can be more because life the ever-flowing essence of life, the ever sort of like incorporating energy of life is saying to you there's so much more that's available here for you. And so it is. How beautiful is this message? Really open your heart and mind and soul to this message. And you know, if it resonates with you, if you open your heart to it, hit that like button. You know, if you hit the like button on a video, um, it, it actually makes more people see the video. If you put in a comment, you get more people to see the video. So you actually get to do good in the world without actually even doing that much, you know. But if you really feel this is a message that somebody else needs to see, you know, share it in the inbox, share it on their wall. Um, or if you just want to, you know, if you just feel that you benefit from the messages, which is great, you know, hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell, because I put out the reading every day, but, you, you know, we get busy and sometimes we forget. So you get that beautiful reminder. And if you'd like to have a reading with me, you're more than welcome to send me an email. There's a link down below in the description. Um, and we can discuss times that's available. I am busy putting an automated booking system together but um, and, and a website, but all of that is not um, fully completed at the moment. So do send me an email um, or, or just connect with me on Facebook or Instagram. The links are down below as well. And if, if you want me to look into some, you know, some basic astrology for you, some numerology for you, as you book a reading, um, you know, give me your date of birth. If you know your time of birth and place of birth, even more fantastic. And then we connect that way. For now, from my heart to yours, namaste, love and light. I hope this is a beautiful day for you.